Welcome once again. Right now we're at Romans chapter 16. For those of you who are new, we are reading through the entire Bible. Every book, every chapter, every verse, every word. And this chapter, this Bible chapter proves that it's not God's word for everybody. And you know, there are a lot of Christians. They say the Bible. The Bible is God's word. Every single word of this Bible is God's word for you today. There are a lot of Christians that preach that. There are a lot of Christians that believe that. But this chapter proves that wrong. Think about this now. As I read this, think about this. Is this God speaking directly to you today? I commend you, Phoebe, our sister. Oh, wait a second. If this if this is God's word, this is God speaking, okay? Does God have a sister by the name of Phoebe? Who is a servant of the assembly that is in Sancreia, that you receive her in the Lord. Oh, if this is God's word for you today, you better receive Phoebe, God's sister, in a way worthy of the saints, that you assist her in whatever matter she may need from you. For she herself also has been a helper of many, and of my own self. Phoebe helped God. Verse 3, greet Prisca and Aquila, my fellow workers in Christ Jesus. Wait a second now, if this, if the Bible, if every word of the Bible is God's word for you today, then you have a job to do. You better go find Prisca and Aquila because you need to greet them because that's God's command. Who risks their own necks for my life, to whom not only will I give thanks, but also all the assemblies of the Gentiles. Greet the assembly that is in their house. Not only are you supposed to find Prisca and Aquila, but you're supposed to find out exactly where they live so you can go to their house. Now, I'm sure you're catching the sarcasm here, okay? But, I mean, this is Paul. We are reading somebody else's mail here. Paul is writing a letter to other believers in Rome, okay? This is Paul writing to other people in Rome approximately 2,000 years ago. It's not God's word for you today. At least this isn't. So you can't say that every single word of the Bible is God's word for you today. And we're going to get on to other portions. <laughs> we just started. This is just the first letter of Paul we're reading now. I mean, we got lots to go. There's lots more that Paul says that proves that not every word in his letters is God's word. And not every word is for you today. Greet Apanitas, my beloved, who is the first fruits of Achaia to Christ. Greet Mary, who labored much for us. Greet Adronicus and Junia, my relatives and my fellow prisoners, who are notable among the apostles, who were also in Christ before me. Greet Amplius, my beloved in the Lord. Greet Urbanus, our fellow worker in Christ and Stachys, my beloved. Greet Apelles, the approved in Christ. Greet those who are of the household of Aristobulus. Greet Herodian, my kinsman, part of his family. Greet them of the household of Narcissus, who are in the Lord. Greet Tryphenea and Tryphosa, who labor in the Lord. Greet Persis, the beloved, who labored much in the Lord. Greet Rufus, the chosen in the Lord, his mother and mine. Greet Asyncritus, Phlegon, Hermes, Patrobus, Hermas, Hermas, which could be the one of the shepherd of Hermas' book, and the brothers who are with them. Greet Philologus and Julia, Nereus and his sister, and Olympus, and all the saints who were with them. Greet one another with a holy kiss. The assemblies of Christ greet you. Now I beg you, brothers, look out for those who are causing the divisions and occasions of stumbling, contrary to the doctrine which you've learned, and turn away from them. For those who are such don't serve our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly. That's interesting, their own belly. You know, a lot of people today, they eat so much, they serve their belly. Their belly becomes an idol. 
and by their smooth and flattering speech, oh boy, do we have a lot of smooth and flattering speech, especially among the politicians. They deceive the hearts of the innocent, for your obedience has become known to all. I rejoice, therefore, over you, but I desire to have you wise in that which is good, but innocent in that which is evil. And the God of peace will quickly crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Timothy, my fellow worker, greets you, as does Lucius, Jason, and Sosipater, my relatives. I, Tertius, who write the letter, greet you in the Lord. Gaius, my host and host of the whole assembly, greets you. Erastus, the treasurer of the city, greets you, as does Quartus, the brother. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you all. Amen. And the TR replaces Romans chapter 14, verses 24 to 26 at the end of Romans instead of at the end of chapter 14 and numbers these verses 25 to 27 in chapter 16. Once again, seek God with all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things and how exciting that is. Love you guys.